Thank you for joining the webinar for the Florida Turnpike Mainline Binding Project from Neptune Road to north of Osceola Parkway in Osceola County. Financial project identification numbers 436194-1 and 436194-3. Our presentation will begin at 5.30 p.m. If you're not hearing audio, please check your computer speaker sorry, or your phone microphone. If you experience technical difficulties, please contact technical support at tpkmeetingsupport at dot.state.fl.us. Good evening. The Florida Department of Transportation, Florida Stunpike Enterprise, welcomes you to the design public hearing for the Florida Stunpike Mainline Widening Project from Neptune Road to north of Osceola Parkway in Osceola County. My name is Suman Juluru and I'm the Florida Stunpike Enterprise Project Manager for this project. I'll be moderating this public hearing from the Turnpike headquarters. At this time, I would like to recognize elected and appointed government officials who registered to attend the virtual public hearing. We are here joined by Mr. Colby Urban, Deputy Mayor, City of St. Cloud. Thank you for attending. The hearing is being held to provide you with the opportunity to comment on this project. During tonight's virtual hearing, participants that requested to speak while registering for the virtual public hearing will be called on in the order of which they are registered. Following the presentation, once your name is called, please locate the go to webinar control panel and click the button to unmute yourself. If you do not register to speak, but would like to, you can use the raise hand feature located in the go to webinar control panel. Again, once your name is called, please unmute yourself to make your comment. You can also submit comments to the project website www.turnpikeneptunetoosceola.com or by emailing me at suman.juluru at dot.state.fl.us. Comments must be submitted by April 8, 2023 to become part of the public record. We will now show you a video presentation about the project. Florida's Turnpike Enterprise welcomes you to the design public hearing for the Florida Turnpike Mainline Widening Project from Neptune Road to north of Osceola Parkway in Osceola County. Financial project identification numbers 436-194-1 and 436-194-3. A public hearing is being held with multiple opportunities to participate. A virtual hearing is being held on Monday, March 27, 2023. Members of the public can participate in this hearing via the GoToWebinar system or using their telephone. An in-person hearing is being held on Wednesday, March 29, 2023 at the St. Cloud Community Center. The same information is being presented at both hearing venues. Verbatim transcripts will be made of all oral proceedings. The public hearing video will be posted on the project website, and a link to the video will be provided by email to all persons that registered. Notice for this public hearing, including information on how to access the hearing platform, was provided in letters to property owners and tenants in the project area, postings in the Florida Administrative Register and local newspapers, in emails to persons on the project contacts list, and other notification methods. Notice was also posted on the project website at www.turnpikeneptunetoosceola.com. This public hearing was advertised consistent with the federal and state requirements shown on the slide. This project is being developed in accordance with the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Under Title VI of the Civil Rights Act, public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. If you have any questions or concerns regarding Florida Turnpike's compliance with Title VI, please contact Susan Sadigi at 407-264-3640 or S-U-S-A-N dot S-A-D-I-G-H-I at D-O-T dot state dot F-L dot U-S.
or Stefan Kulikowski at 850-414-4742 or S-T-E-F-A-N dot K-U-L-A-K-O-W-S-K-I at D-O-T dot state dot F-L dot U-S. We will follow this agenda, starting first with the purpose and need of this project and how you can provide input. Then we will review the project improvements and the project development and environment study PD&E reevaluation. And finally, we will open the public comment period. The need for this project originates from the Turnpike Mainline PD&E study from US 192 to State Road 50 completed in 2003. The PD&E study evaluated the need for additional mainline capacity between the limits of US 192 and Osceola Parkway and recommended that the Turnpike mainline be widened from four to six lanes. In March of 2021, the traffic projections from the original study were updated and it was verified that to achieve an acceptable level of service, the Turnpike mainline must be widened from four to eight lanes. The objective of this public hearing is to address changes in the design from the Project Development and Environment Study, PD&E, related to the number of travel lanes on the mainline turnpike. Florida's turnpike is currently eight lanes north of Osceola Parkway, and the turnpike widening project from south of Kissimmee Park Road to Neptune Road is proposed for eight lanes under Financial Project Identification Number 441-224-2. The overall safety along this corridor will be improved through the implementation of an Intelligent Transportation System ITS, roadway lighting, intersection capacity, and signage. This project will serve to enhance mobility by improving travel times and emergency response times by continuing the eight-lane section. There have been several opportunities for the public to provide input on this project. Design public information meetings were held in September of 2022. The virtual meeting was held on September 12, 2022, and the in-person meeting was held on September 13, 2022. A total of 60 attendees participated in the hybrid design public information meeting and 11 comments were received during the comment period. There are multiple ways to submit comments, including through the project website at www.turnpikeneptunetoosceola.com. You can mail or email your comments directly to the project manager, Suman Juluru. Please send written comments to Florida's Turnpike Enterprise, P.O. Box 613069, Ocoee, Florida 34761, or via email suman.juluru at dot.state.fl.us. This information is also available on the public hearing notification and the project website. During the in-person hearing, you can also submit your comments using the comment forms provided. You can also make verbal comments. Virtual participants that requested to speak when registering will be called upon during the public comment period following this presentation. If you did not register to speak but would like to, you can use the raise hand feature located in the GoToWebinar control panel, and you will be called on to speak after those who registered. If attending the in-person hearing at the St. Cloud Community Center, please fill out a request to speak card. You will be called to the microphone during the verbal comment period at the end of this presentation. If you prefer, there is also a court reporter to whom you can provide your comments directly. Please remember, the formal comment period is not a question and answer session, but an opportunity for you to provide your input on the proposed improvements. Every comment method carries equal weight. Comments must be submitted or postmarked by April 8th to become part of the public hearing record. All comments shall receive a written response. This project consists of widening the Florida Turnpike, State Road 91, from Neptune Road to north of Osceola Parkway. The project is split into two financial project identification numbers, FPIDs. FPID number 436194-1 represents the turnpike widening from Pardon Settlement Road to north of Osceola Parkway, shown in orange. FPID number 436194-3 represents the turnpike widening from US 192 to Pardon Settlement Road, shown in blue. 
The project improvements are designed to accommodate traffic capacity on the Turnpike Main Line, interchanges, and cross streets within the project limits to meet forecasted traffic demand. These improvements include widening the Turnpike Main Line from four to eight lanes from Neptune Road to Osceola Parkway, provide additional access at the US 192 interchange at milepost 242, reconstruct the US 192 interchange at milepost 244 and Osceola Parkway interchanges, modify cross streets to accommodate bridge replacements, replace existing toll facilities with electronic toll collection, ETC, and install noise barriers. Other ancillary improvements include stormwater ponds, lighting, intelligent transportation systems, signalization, signing, and pavement markings. This slide shows the eight-lane turnpike mainline typical section. The existing four-lane typical section is shown with dashed lines. The new typical section includes four 12-foot wide travel lanes in each direction, separated by a median concrete barrier wall. There is a 12-foot wide shoulder near the median barrier wall and a 10-foot wide shoulder on the outside of the travel lanes in each direction. Shoulder gutter is located on the outside of the outer shoulders on each side and, where necessary, guardrail is placed behind the shoulder gutter. The center line of the turnpike will be shifted up to 53 feet to the east between Part and Settlement Road to north of Fortune Road. This exhibit illustrates the improvements, starting from the begin project point just north of the Neptune Road bridge crossing to just north of US 192. Please note that north is shown to the right on this slide and the following exhibits. The turnpike will be widened to eight lanes, and under this project, the turnpike bridge over US 192 will be reconstructed to accommodate the turnpike widening. An off-site stormwater pond is proposed northeast of the Neptune Road bridge. In addition, new southbound and northbound entrance ramps, as well as a new southbound exit ramp, will be constructed at the US-192 interchange at milepost 242 to provide additional access to and from US-192. Electronic toll collection, ETC, gantries are also included at the new northbound entrance ramp and southbound exit ramp. This exhibit illustrates the improvements at the US-192 interchange at milepost 242 in more detail. The existing northbound exit ramp will remain as a one-lane ramp. However, at its intersection with US-192, it will be widened to include two left-turn lanes to westbound US-192, one through lane to the shopping plaza, and one right-turn lane to eastbound US-192. A single-lane southbound entrance ramp, a single-lane southbound exit ramp, and a single-lane northbound entrance ramp will be constructed to provide greater access between the turnpike and US-192. The southbound exit ramp will include two left turn lanes to eastbound US-192 and one right turn lane to westbound US-192. The existing traffic signal at the intersection of US-192 and the existing northbound exit ramp will be modified to accommodate the new ramp turning movements. The new traffic signals will be added on US-192 to accommodate the new ramp terminals. US-192 will include left turn lanes to provide access to the new entrance ramps. A six and a half foot wide buffered bicycle lane will also be provided in each direction of US 192. This exhibit shows the next segment of the turnpike, which includes Pardon Settlement Road. The turnpike will be widened to eight lanes and the Pardon Settlement Road bridge will be reconstructed to accommodate the widening of the turnpike and to connect with the Pardon Settlement Road widening project currently being conducted by Osceola County. Noise walls are proposed along the west side of the turnpike near Amber Point Apartments and along the east side of the turnpike near the Remington community. This exhibit also shows a new off-site stormwater pond southeast of the Pardon Settlement Road Bridge. Here is the Pardon Settlement Road Bridge typical section that crosses over the turnpike. This section includes two 11-foot wide travel lanes and a bicycle lane approximately five and a half feet wide in each direction. Outside of the bicycle lanes are 10-foot wide sidewalks enclosed with bridge fencing on each side. This exhibit shows the next segment of the turnpike, which includes the US-192 interchange at milepost 244 and the Simpson Road bridge crossing. The turnpike will be widened to eight lanes. The US-192 interchange ramps will undergo complete reconstruction to accommodate the turnpike widening. 
The existing toll plaza at this interchange will be replaced with electronic toll collection, ETC. Simpson Road's bridge crossing and roadway approaches will also undergo reconstruction to widen to a four-lane section to match with the improvements being completed by Osceola County. Noise walls are proposed along the west side of the turnpike near the Academy Park Apartments and the Simpson Ridge Apartments, and alongside the east side of the turnpike near the Osceola County Corrections Department, the Countrywood Subdivision, and the Breezewood Village Apartments. The US-192 interchange at this location includes four stormwater ponds between the ramps and the turnpike mainline. Three off-site stormwater ponds will also be constructed, one southeast of the Simpson Road Bridge, one at the northern end of this exhibit west of the turnpike mainline, and one also at the north end of this exhibit on the east side of the turnpike. The Simpson Road Bridge typical section that crosses over the turnpike includes two 11-foot-wide travel lanes in each direction, separated by an 11-foot-wide median. On the outside of the travel lanes include 10-foot-wide sidewalks enclosed with bridge fencing. This slide shows the next segment of the turnpike, which includes the bridge over Bass Slough and the Fortune Road Bridge Crossing. The turnpike will be widened to eight lanes. The bridge over Bass Slough and the Fortune Road eastbound and westbound bridges will be reconstructed to accommodate the new eight-lane turnpike section. Noise walls are proposed along the west side of the turnpike, near the Ponderosa RV Park, and along the east side of the turnpike, near Grand Court Apartments at Boggy Creek and Emerald Point. An off-site stormwater pond will also be constructed on the west side of the turnpike, just north of the Ponderosa RV Park. The Fortune Road Bridge typical section that crosses over the turnpike includes two 11-foot wide travel lanes and a bicycle lane approximately five and a half feet wide in each direction. Outside of the bicycle lanes are 10-foot wide sidewalks enclosed with bridge fencing. This slide shows the following segment of the turnpike. The roadway improvements on this exhibit consist of only the turnpike widening to eight lanes. Noise walls are proposed along a majority of the turnpike on both the east and west sides near the residential neighborhoods Quail Hollow, Oak Run, Oak Hollow, and Buena Vista Lakes. Part of a new off-site stormwater pond is shown at the north end of this exhibit on the west side of the turnpike and continues on to the next slide. This exhibit shows the final segment of the turnpike at Osceola Parkway. The turnpike will be widened to eight lanes until north of Osceola Parkway, where it will then tie into the existing eight-lane section. The Osceola Parkway westbound bridge and all entrance and exit ramps will be reconstructed, while the eastbound bridge will remain as existing. The existing toll plazas at the northbound entrance ramp and southbound exit ramp will be replaced with electronic toll collection, ETC. Noise walls are proposed along the east side of the turnpike adjacent to the Buena Ventura Lake subdivision. The interchange improvements also include five stormwater ponds as shown on this exhibit. This exhibit illustrates the improvements being implemented at Osceola Parkway in more detail. The eastbound bridge crossing the turnpike will remain with three travel lanes and two left turn lanes to the northbound entrance ramp. The westbound bridge will be reconstructed and widened to include three travel lanes and one left turn lane to the southbound entrance ramp. The southbound entrance ramp will be reconstructed to include two travel lanes. The northbound exit ramp will be widened toward its terminus at Osceola Parkway to include three left turn lanes to westbound Osceola Parkway and two right turn lanes towards eastbound Osceola Parkway. The northbound entrance ramp consists of three travel lanes through the electronic toll collection ETC gantry. The southbound exit ramp is initially two lanes and widens at its terminus to six lanes, three right turn lanes to westbound Osceola Parkway and three left turn lanes to eastbound Osceola Parkway. The interchange improvements also include reconstructing the signalized intersections of Osceola Parkway and the ramp terminals. Other operational improvements within the proximity of our project include dual left turn lanes from westbound Osceola Parkway to southbound Bill Beck Boulevard. This slide shows the Osceola Parkway interchange bridge typical section over the turnpike. 
The westbound bridge, shown to the left, will be reconstructed and will include three 12-foot wide travel lanes, one 12-foot wide left turn lane, and a bicycle lane approximately eight and a half feet wide. Behind the bicycle lane is a five-foot wide sidewalk enclosed with bridge fencing. The existing eastbound bridge, shown to the right, will remain and will include three 12-foot wide travel lanes, two 11-foot wide left turn lanes, and a 10-foot wide shoulder outside of the travel lanes. The State Environmental Impact Report, SEER, originally identified environmental impacts from this project in late 2003. Reevaluation of the SEER for this project is available for review. Design changes that required reevaluation since the completion of the 2003 SEER are as follows Turnpike mainline traffic capacity improved from 4 to 8 lanes. Shifted Turnpike Mainline 53 feet to the east for most of the Dash 1 project. Access modifications at the US 192 interchange at milepost 242. The commitments from the 2003 SEER remain the same. The project improvement within the corridor and at the offsite pond locations was reevaluated in detail to analyze potential effects to the social, cultural, natural, and physical environment in accordance with state and federal regulations. Reevaluation documents are available for public review. The summary of these impacts is described in the following slides. There are minimal changes to land use, aesthetics, and mobility compared to what was studied in the SEIR. This project will not cause any relocation of families or businesses. Referencing the pond siting report, it is estimated that this project will require additional right-of-way from several parcels totaling 62 acres for the project stormwater ponds. The roadway improvements require less than an acre for the roadway improvements at the US 192 interchange at milepost 242. All right-of-way acquisition will be conducted in accordance with Florida Statute 33909 and the Federal Uniform Relocation Assistance and Real Property Acquisition Policies Act of 1970 commonly known as the Uniform Act. We encourage you to call the Turnpike Project Manager if you have any questions regarding the right-of-way acquisition process. A Natural Resource Evaluation, or NRE, was prepared for the project to assess potential impacts to wetland systems and federal and state protected species. The preferred alternative impacts approximately 31 acres of wetlands and 68 acres of surface waters. Florida's Turnpike Enterprise will mitigate wetland, surface water, and conservation easement impacts resulting from this project to meet state and federal requirements. No net increases to floodplain stages will result from this project. Where there are floodplain impacts from the project improvements, they shall be fully compensated for and will meet all FDOT and South Florida's Water Management District criteria. The NRE identified 11 federally listed species and 10 federal plants that could occur in Osceola County. Of those federally listed species, the project may affect, but is not likely to adversely affect, three listed species. No adverse effects are anticipated for the state listed species. There is no essential fish habitat in the project corridor. The Cultural Resources Assessment Survey was updated to identify any cultural resources and assess their eligibility for listing in the National Register of Historic Places. Based on past and current survey efforts, the potential for encountering intact archaeological deposits or significant archaeological sites within the project corridor and at the pond locations is low. No historical sites were encountered. Also, there were no impacts to recreational areas from the project improvements. A contamination screening evaluation report was prepared for this project to identify contamination concerns within the project corridor. The contamination screening identified seven potential contamination concerns for the roadway improvements and 20 for proposed pond sites which are ranked as a medium or high risk. A level two contamination assessment is recommended for these sites. A noise study was conducted in accordance with state and federal regulations to evaluate traffic noise levels for the proposed improvements. The feasibility and reasonableness of noise walls were assessed, and where noise walls were warranted, they are shown on the public hearing plan exhibits. 
The total project cost is approximately $344.2 million in 2023 present day cost. Included in this estimated cost are design, right of way, mitigation, construction engineering with inspection and construction. The design for the turnpike widening from Parton Settlement Road to north of Osceola Parkway, FPID number 436194-1, is anticipated to be completed by the fourth quarter of 2023. Right-of-way acquisition will be completed by the first quarter of 2024, and construction is anticipated to begin in the second quarter of 2024. For the turnpike widening from US 192 to Pardon Settlement Road, FPID number 436194-3, the design is anticipated to be completed by the fourth quarter of 2025. Right-of-way acquisition will be completed by the first quarter of 2026, and construction is anticipated to begin in the second quarter of 2026. Please visit the project website for all project updates, documents, and announcements at www.turnpikeneptunetoosceola.com. Your comments are essential to this process and will help Florida's Turnpike Enterprise understand your concerns and suggestions for the project improvements presented. We encourage you to provide a written comment tonight. Or, if you prefer, you may mail your comments to P.O. Box 613-069, Ocoee, Florida, 34761, or submit them by email to suman.juluru at dot.state.fl.us. You can also submit your comments directly through the project website at www.turnpikeneptunetoosceola.com. Verbal comments can be made to the court reporter present at the in-person meeting. Any comment received or postmarked on or before April 8, 2023, will become part of the public hearing record. After this hearing, if you would like to speak with someone, please contact one of the following Florida's Turnpike representatives. Suman Juluru at 407-264-3424 or suman.juluru at dot.state.fl.us or Thomas Alexander at 407-264-3318 or thomas.alexander at dot.state.fl.us. Thank you for your interest in the public hearing for the Florida Turnpike Mainline Widening Project from Neptune Road to north of Osceola Parkway in Osceola County and thank you for taking the time to participate in this hearing. Uh, we hope you found this project, project presentation informative and helpful. Anyone desiring to make a statement regarding the location or local social, economic, and environmental effects of the improvements will now uh, have an opportunity to do so. Written statements may be presented in lieu of or in addition to oral statements. All written material received at this public hearing and sent to the Florida Department of Transportation, Florida Turnpike Enterprise Office, PO Box 613069, Ocoee, Florida 34761, postmarked no later than April 8, 2023, will become a part of the public record for this hearing. All written comments should be addressed to Suman Juluru. Comments may also be emailed to suman.juluru at dot.state.fl.us. We will now begin the public comment period. Please note that we will not respond to your comments today, but we will respond in writing at a later date. Those who requested to speak at the registration will now be called upon. When your name is called upon, you, you, you will be unmuted. If the microphone icon on the GoToWebinar panel is green, you are ready to make your comment. If the microphone icon is red, you will need to click on the icon once. It will, it will then turn green, and you will be notified that you are unmuted as shown on the GoToWebinar control panel on the right. You are then ready to speak. Please state your name and address for the public hearing record. If you are representing an organization, municipality, or other public body, please provide the information as well. In an effort to accommodate all speakers, we request that you no know more than three minutes of your comment. The first speaker we are going to call is Samantha Santana. Uh, 
we see that uh, you're not online. Uh, please raise your hand when you if you're if you come back online. Uh, the next speaker is uh, Diana Maron. Please unmute yourself. Diana, can you hear us? It, it, it looks like you're uh, muted yourself. Please unmute yourself so that the, uh, the microphone icon turns screen. Hello? Okay, I think we got it. Yeah. Oh, we, okay, we can hear you now. Can you hear me? I'm sorry. Thank you. Okay. Yes. The, we it's own the RV Park. And I'm just, are we able to get the slide so we can, click, can completely understand what the impact will be to our property? Um, yep, yeah, please, uh, please submit your com uh, comments in response. We'll not provide any responses today. Uh, but uh, if you have any uh, uh, comments or concerns, you can you can call the uh, you can call me uh, at 407-284-3424 or, or the contact information provided uh, for the meeting. Uh, but uh, all the all the information uh, provided today will be on the on the project website. On any of the properties in in your widening of the road. Is there a reason? Are you going on to any property owner's land? Are you taking any land as a result of it? Again, uh, thank you for question. Uh, it, uh, uh, for questions, uh, but uh, today we will not answer any of your questions. Uh, all your questions will be part of the public record, and we'll provide a, a written response uh, for your questions at a later date after the public hearing record period is end. Okay, then uh, we're going to the next speaker, uh, Sherry Winders. Okay, uh, looks like uh, you're not online. Uh, then we'll go to the next speaker, Jose Rodriguez. Okay, um, you're not online. Um, the next speaker is uh, David McKim. So, so you're unmuted, please unmute yourself so that uh, the microphone icon turns green so that you can provide your comment. Uh, Mr. David McKim, can you hear us? Yeah, please unmute your mic. Uh, click, click, click on the microphone button so that it turns green. And you can, so that you can provide your, we can hear. Yeah, uh, we see that you're uh, you're muted, uh, uh, but we can come back uh, to you after if after we run through all the speakers. Uh, so those are all the registered speakers that we have today. And if there's anyone else desire to speak uh, who are not who are who did not elect to uh, provide comment during registration, this is your opportunity to do so. Uh, please raise your hand if you want to provide your comment so that we can unmute you and you can provide your uh, comment. Ryan Dutton, you are now unmuted. Yes, can you hear me? Yes. Uh, yes, uh, I live at 170 Nolte Road in St. Cloud. I have a couple of questions because I haven't been to any of the other meetings. Uh, question one, uh, I see you're building a new complete interchange at exit 242. 
Um, why are you not returning the northbound exit on the turnpike at exit 244 that was removed in the mid 90s? Why is not that, why is that not being restored? Okay. Uh, thank you for your question, uh, David. Uh, but uh, we greatly appreciate your question. Uh, you, your question will become part of the public record. However, this verbal comment period is restricted to statements only. Uh, you may submit your questions to the project website or mail them to me or submit them via email and I will respond to you in writing after the public comment period closes on April 8th. If you have any further comment, you can say so. Gina V, you are now unmuted. Gina, you're unmuted now. Please unmute yourself and provide your comment. Um, uh, Gina, please check your uh, computer setting, uh, settings or, or, or audio settings on your phone. We see that you're unmuted, but we cannot hear you. Okay. Uh, yeah. So sorry, Gina, unfortunately we cannot hear you, uh, but if you have any comments, please submit them uh, uh, through our website or you can email them to me with the contact information provided. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay, so you can go to the next slide. Okay. Uh, the, verbatim trans the verbatim transcript of this hearing's oral proceedings, together with all written material received as part of the public hearing record, and all studies, displays, and informational material provided at the hearing, will be made a part of the project decision-making process. The public comment period will remain open for this public hearing through April 8, 2023. If you provided an email address at this registration, you will receive a follow-up email with a link to the recording of today's proceedings. The recording link will also be posted on our project website. When you exit the webinar, you will receive a brief survey. Your participation will help us for future public hearings. Thank you for attending this public hearing and providing your input for this project. It is now 6, 10 p.m. I hereby, I hereby officially close the public hearing for the turnpike winding project from Neptune Road to Osceola Parkway. Thank you again and have a good evening.